we always start with scripture first and foremost. Everything that we then bring in to try to create the world and to build the palette of characters, it all has to be referenced against scripture. That's the number one thing. Basically what I do is when I start developing a script is I come to scripture first and then I start to reverse engineer. So why is Luke in Rome in the prison? Well, at the beginning of 2 Timothy, we learned that everybody's abandoned Paul other than he says specifically that Luke is with him. And so I say, oh, okay, so Luke is in Rome, as we know from all of our analysis and scholarly history that uh, 2 Timothy was written about 66, 67 AD from the Mamertine prison in Rome. So I start from scripture and then I go back to, okay, let me look at the history. What's going on in Rome in AD 66, 67? Okay, well, it's Nero's Rome. What's going on in Nero's Rome? And then we sort of go into the history of, of Rome at the time and the violence and what's going on. And then we just start to kind of place these biblical figures exactly where they were. And we're able to fill in the blanks um, very accurately uh, through that process. It was important to us in portraying Paul that we stayed in line with scripture and that when we really wanted to fill out Paul as a person, we were able to do that through his interactions with our historically fictional character, Mauritius, in the story who's the prefect of the Mamertine prison. What Andrew Hyatt did, our writer-director, is he spent a lot of time studying Paul through scripture and through the, the dialogue in the screenplay, went through a, a refining process of of wondering, you know, what what are things that Paul and Luke could have talked about? What are things that Paul would have said kind of in line with his character to move this story along? One of the hardest things, of course, is to kind of pull out the storyline because we can't just make a story about Paul and Luke staring at each other in prison, talking for two hours. I don't think that'd be very interesting. So the fictional side, so this Mauritius character that we have in the movie, and Irenica, and their daughter who's ill and dying, and sort of that whole storyline that comes through our film. That really is from all the other experiences that we pulled out of scripture where Peter and Paul and Christ met all of these families, they met all these Roman centurions, Roman prefects, Roman guards, and we really just kind of pulled a collection of those to create this character and this fabric of this family that their daughter's sick, they're praying to the gods, the gods aren't answering, and here come these people that are following this Christ and they just have a completely different outlook on life. They're joyful. In the midst of violence, they are happy and they are following this Christ. And then there's these miracles that are happening. So we just basically took a collection of these stories that we have documented over and over again where uh, Peter comes along, Paul comes along and touches someone and they're healed. Christ comes along and says something and they're healed. And so even though we fictionalize that part of it, we really feel confident that this is completely in line with scripture. So I can tell you that every scene and every piece of dialogue and every line has been gone through meticulously between us at Affirm Films and Andrew and the producers over the last year plus to make sure that we have something that in a concise way delivers a, a Paul and Luke character that honor and are in line with scripture and also help fill out their lives in a way that helps us deliver a compelling story.